There's a scary movie on Netflix called Aftermath. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch it. Alright. I got 40 minutes left. I was watching it at my desk. Home. I was like, not gonna watch it. Is it good? It's good. Okay. I'll have to check it out. What's it called? Aftermath. Aftermath. It's a spooky movie. Spooky. Yeah, it's like crazy spooky. Nah, that's spooky spooky. Like Conjuring kind of stuff. Spooky. Kind of what, what, what? Conjuring. Like Conjuring. Kind of spooky. Okay. That was a good movie. Right? It's almost Halloween. It is almost Halloween. Halloween is upon us, which means all the spooky movies are coming out. That's right. We're going to have to do more Halloween themed episodes again. Oh, shit. Are we doing. Yeah, we got to do something. Are we doing the 10 days of Halloween again? <laughs> that would be fun. Right? <laughs> Fucking demolition, man. Here I come. <laughs> it's coming. I gotta go buy my earrings. It's coming. It's oh, coming. Shit. What's going on, everybody? Cigar Titan here. Once again, my good friend Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Titan fam. And Brother Stogie, we are back with another review. Yes. We've got another product. Yes. Who is it from? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> yes. So, we are here with All Doom. Shout out to All Doom. Yes. Much appreciate sending in a uh, product for a review. This is their 150 count electronic thermoelectric humidor. Yes, it is. Yes, and I know a little bit about this one because I actually have one, one sitting in the house right now that I've had for probably a little bit over a year. So I'll do. <laughs> New year. Right. New year. I'll do. <laughs> you ready to get started? Let's give it to him. Welcome back, everybody. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, we are back with another review. This time, we've got the 150 count Audu thermoelectric humidor. Yes. Yes, yes, we do. But before we start getting into the specs and what we think about this particular humidor, mm -hmm. Brother Stogie, taking a, taking a page out of your book today, what are we smoking? Oh, yeah, so I am smoking the Casa Cuevas Habano mm, mm. in its Robusto size. Okay, okay. Right, so, uh, and actually, I'm gonna give a shout out to Dad Spoken Cigars for actually supplying us, for supplying me with these sticks. Nice, nice. Yeah, right? Nice, and today I'm actually smoking for the first time an El Septimo or El Septimo, I'm El not Septimo. sure how you. You got one of those? I do. Let me see. Yeah. Remind it. I, I don't know. Get that from? I don't even know where I got this from, to be honest with what you. The hell? I don't remember where I got it from. Shout out to El Septimo <laughs> Cigars. This is the Gilgamesh. The Gilgamesh. Yep, the Gilgamesh Seven. Okay. It's actually a very good looking stick. There we go. Very oily, nice sheen on the wrapper. So far, a pretty smooth smoke. It had a closed foot there at the end. Uh, but this one's off to a, a pretty damn good start. I've never had one of these before, so first time. Right, so welcome to Cigar Titans channel. If you are new to our channel, you know this is what we do. We do cigars, we do cigars around the community, cigars around bros, cigars around everybody. So, for all the newcomers up in here, and you're like, man, what is this big old contraption? So this is the point you get to when you went through the Ziploc bag. <laughs> right. When you went through the Tupperdor. Yep, yep. When you, Bought that nice travel humidor case that you only start stored your cigars in. Yes. Possibly the mason jar humidification system. Yes, yes. They like, man, you know what? I've been watching cigar type. They got all this fancy shit. You know what I'm saying? The boys at the house, they got fancy stuff. I want a fancy one too. Upgrade time. <laughs> That's right. And big shout out to Elaine from Audu for sending this out to Brother Stogie and myself. Uh, we're very grateful that we were able to get our hands on uh, this humidor. And so we wanted to talk a little bit about this humidor today. So this says it is a 150 count humidor. Yes. And Brother Stoey, could you fit 150 cigars in this humidor? No. No? Probably maybe, not. Maybe 150 nub cigars. Could be. Or maybe 150 petite Coronas for sure. Or Lanceros, depending on how you jam up in there. Yes. I think that that... But once you start mixing up you know once you start inviting other people to the party you got some of your some of your bigger boys some you know of your smaller boys some of your girls with the bigger booties some so of the you, girls with the smaller booties so your lanceros yep. your church shields yep. your robustos your toros your petite coronas all those you kind of you lessen the count in the humidor so because it says 150 count 
don't send it back and complain, <laughs> talking about I couldn't fit all my 150 cigars in there. Like, well, what kind do you have? Like, all kinds. That church shoes. That's right. Well, come on. We said that already. So for those of you guys who have been following our channel now for a while, you'll know uh, that I actually own an Odd Do and have owned an Odd Do now for probably a little bit over a year. We did a video a while back where we did our humidor tour. Yes. You remember that, Brother Stogie? I do. Yep. And so during that little humidor tour, I kind of gave a very brief overview of the Odd Do humidor that I have in the house. And at that time, I think I only had the desktop even door. That's true. You yes. only had the desktop. Now you're all hooked up. Get that, get that fancy, 250 count yeah, yeah. up in that bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but today is all about Audu and what this humidor does. So this is a very, very good humidor. Um, I've had, like I said, a little over of a year now. Uh, with this humidor and having sticks inside the humidor and everything and I can attest that this humidor works very well. I've had zero issues with my humidor since I got it and when I bought, actually bought it, it was an item that I had personally bought. Yes. Um, it was not something that was, well, gifted to me, yes, but it was bought. <laughs> it was bought. You know what I meant. To <laughs> say the facts, bro. Say the it was facts. gifted to me. Um, and uh, this, uh, this was not something that Audu had sent us. So this one here, uh, this unit is identical to the one that I actually have in the house with what appears to be one exception. And Brother Sogi, what is that? That is, so the one that Cigar Titan has in the house, it actually has a reflective door to where you cannot see. Look how beautiful that is. Very, very sexy. Actually, you know what I'm saying? So let's, let yeah, us, right there is perfect. So, so you're us, not getting the glare of the camera So let us on point there. out real quick that the light that's inside is our own personal light from the studio just to illuminate the beautifulness up in this humidor right here. So back to the difference. His is reflective, which means you can't see inside the humidor. This one has a see-through glass on the door. Yes, so the one that I have in the house actually has more of a reflective finish on the front of the humidor. And Brother Stogie, what are some of the benefits to having a reflective finish on the front of the humidor as opposed to having something that is see-through? Maybe some like pros and cons. So the pros is you just have that beautiful glass mirror image. Yeah, so it looks Scar really Titan slick. goes and wants to look at his, his collection, he yep. can look at his beautiful face first. <laughs> right, you can see you his beautiful face first. <laughs> or when he invites people to the house, right. people can't be nosed, but hey, you got El Septimo on the second shelf, let me get that. <laughs> no, they gotta wait, you know what I'm saying? But that's also the con to it as well, because you can't enjoy your purchase. You just purchased a whole box of, you know, Arturo Fuente Double Chateau, Sun Grown Rosado Series Number 7, 1956 Special, especially yeah. Right. You can't see it with the reflective glass, but in here you can see exactly what you bought. You can set everything up on the shelves just how you want it. You can see the beautifulness, which is your cigar collection. Yep. And one of the other things, uh, too, to having that reflective finish on the front of your humidor is it has a tendency uh, to repel some of the light and heat uh, that may be coming in from the outside. So most of the time when you have a unit like this, regardless of you know whether it's a thermoelectric humidor or whether you have a regular humidor, you're probably going to want to store that in a relatively cool, dry place of your house. And that's exactly where I have it. So there's not a lot of light exposure to that humidor as it is. However, not everybody's home is created equally and everybody right. has the same setup. And so that you, your options may be a little bit more limited. So having that reflective finish on the front sometimes does help, but having something like this where you can see through, absolutely. I mean, even with the light in there, you can see just how sexy that looks. That's beautiful. That is a very nice humidor. Right. And so talking a little bit about the light. So we are using our little aperture light inside there to illuminate uh, the inside of the humidor. And the reason we're doing that is because the light that is actually inside here, you can see up on the top, is a very small LED light. Now, uh, that particular light is not very bright, especially when you start getting this humidor filled to capacity and you've got quite a few cigars on the top shelf. At that point, that light almost becomes unusable. You know, really? that, was, that was a downfall with both this unit and the new area unit. Yeah, so maybe maybe a quick shout out to all the humidor manufacturers out there 
you know, and there are some, of course, like when you start getting into like your top tier humidors, like I've seen uh, some of them like that have lights that go all the way through mm -hmm. the humidor and stuff like that. Uh, and they look beautiful, but the, but this but is it should the, be a standard. This, this is the presentation that right. a cigar enthusiasts would want to see when they turn the light on in their humidor. Absolutely, and I think when when you're talking about lights, you're talking about LED lights. Uh, you know, when these LED lights don't generally cost too much. Now, I don't want to go speaking for any manufacturers out there. I don't know what type of um, costs go into the little added accessories that they put into here, but I would think that it, it's probably not too expensive or there may be a better way to get your humidor lit, maybe putting it on the back and having the light kind of shoot forward as opposed to having something on the top and then trying to get it to shoot all the way down. Right. Which, again, when you start getting you know a good thick layer of cigars on the top shelf there, that light does not go all the way down to the bottom. And so you really have to have some other secondary source of light to be able to see into the humidor and see what you got. Yes. So. Back to the specs. So you go, so as you can see, kind of opening up again, the humidor is laced and lined with Spanish cedar shelves. So you have three shelves and one drawer. Yeah. All Spanish cedar. None of it has been seasoned, so you will have to season this yourself. And we will get into that later on in the video. But as you can see, this beautiful door it has nice magnetic seal. So when you close it, boom, it's closed. Perfect. No air going inside. It's nice and rectangular. The shape is all nice and cut clean on the sides. Nice little handle right here so you don't, don't get fingerprints all over the door. You just open and close it, just like that. Now, one of the perks and drawbacks to this nice, sexy finish here that you right see there. is you've got the black gloss finish that kind of trims the outside of the humidor door. The finish of the humidor here on the side the basic metal frame of the body here um, actually is more of a kind of a black matte finish. You know, it's not really the glossy black finish here that you have here, this piano black. Um, and so this is going to be a fingerprint magnet for sure. So if you're one of those people that's like, I don't want to see fingerprints all over my humidor, you're probably going to have to wipe this down every once in a while. You're probably going to see dust on here mm -hmm. a little bit you know more than you want on say a lighter color humidor or something with more of the matte finish um, and so that is one of the drawbacks that but i mean from a visual standpoint this looks beautiful you're just going to have to you know keep up on it maintenance wise to make sure it doesn't you know get your little fingerprints all over and everything and keep that white down close the guard tight so we got some of the newbies that might come on the channel but hey where would i put a contraption like this in my home what would you suggest so the size of this, the best way that I can compare the size of this and what this actually looks like is if for anybody out there who is, uh, has a PC, like a, an at-home PC, this looks like a PC tower. Yes, it does. So uh, if you're thinking about like where, where would this fit, like how, how big is this really? Because sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, when you're looking at this stuff on camera, if you are comparing this to a PC tower, that's about how much space you would need in order to store this somewhere in your home. I have a nice little nook and cubby here that's actually running in the background right now that you guys can see uh, and take a look at. And this is where I have my humidor stored, so it looks very nice. Uh, but anywhere where you've got room to where you could store like a PC tower or something like that, it would fit perfectly in there. The dimensions honestly look almost exactly the same. As far as locations, you can put this in your living room. Yeah, absolutely. Dining room. Dining room. Bedroom. Man cave. Office. Office. Yeah. Right on, on a nice area, right next to your bed while your wife is on the other side. Put That's your right. humidor on your side. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Put the alarm clock on her side. So let's talk a little bit more about the cedar shelves. Yes. So the shelving here, one of the things that I mentioned during the last video that we were doing with regards to our humidor tours is one of the, these are very nice cedar shelves um, and they do slide in and out. But one of the drawbacks to this is when you're considering where you're storing this, you need to make sure that you have enough room for this door to basically open fully. If you don't have enough room for this door to open fully, Show what up. happens is the cedar shelf hits the door so and you can't slide it out. But so now if you open so it. See. So right there. Yep, keep going. Right there. Right there is about where it would need to be in order for you to get the shelf 
the entire way out. So that is uh, a little bit of, could be a little bit of a nuisance, especially if space is limited uh, where you have it. So you wanna make sure that whatever you're doing, you got enough room for that door to swing open. So some things you might want to consider when getting this kind of humidor. You know, some of our cigar enthusiasts that watch our channel, some of them might want to st store, 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 picky, picky, store their cigar boxes in their humidor. So if you get like a box of Arturo Fuente Double Chateau, that's a pretty big box, both width and width. Mm -hmm. Probably won't fit into this cigar, this uh, humidor right here. But there are a couple that, that will fit in here, and we're going to show you what that's going to look like when you do. That's so, right. So right here, we've got a box of 25. This is the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos number four. And as you can see, fits right inside the humidor just fine. Now we did have to remove one of the shelves in order to get that in there, but if storing your boxes in your humidor is something you wanna do, it still does fit the box. So that's Don Carlos for the fellas? That's Don Carlos for the fellas. What about right. the ladies? So what if you bought your- What about the SOTLs? Why you bought the lady, you know what I'm saying, one, one of the bad bees, you know what I'm saying? One of the ladies from the Deadwood bitches. Tobacco Company. That's right, that's right. Leather Rose. That's right. Can that fit in there? Let's see. Now this is a long box. Mm -hmm. Up, up. No. Not gonna fit like that. But it is deep enough for that long box to fit it in there just all fine. All the way, all the way. So now with that, we've just stored roughly 50 cigars in this humidor with just these two boxes alone. As you can see, you still have space up here on the top. Yes. And we have this handy dandy little shelf down here on the bottom. Brother Stogie, actually we've got, there we go. So this is where we've got the aperture light, obviously, but this is a nice deep shelf. Um, take this out all the way you can see there it's got quite a bit of space to store cigars and this is i'll be honest with you in my human order this is where i store my cigars when i'm just ready to like i don't want to organize anything and so i just throw them in the bin here at the end and put them in there so both Stogie, let's talk a little bit about the temperature range range for this particular unit what are we looking at so this actual unit goes ranges from 54 degrees to 74 degrees okay now like with anything else, would you want to start store this in a hot, humid area of the house, say like a garage or outside? I wouldn't because the temperature fluctuates too much, which will kind of throw off your whole communication and possibly burn off the the motor or the thermoelectric. Is it thermoelectric? This is a thermoelectric. This is thermoelectric. This is thermoelectric. The thermoelectric <laughs> doohickey that's in the back <laughs> might burn it out because it won't work too hard to kind of balance and fluctuate the temperature and the fluctuation of temperature. So that's why we store it in the house where it's always kind of cool. Right, now I usually keep my house at around 75 to 74 degrees, uh, depending on the time of day. And I can tell you that uh, I have my humidor set at around 70 degrees. And as you can see on the front of the door here, you've got your little electrical panel with an up arrow and a down arrow. And then this little thing right here is actually to activate the LED light inside the humidor and there's an electric screen that'll pop up right there that'll tell you what the temperature is currently at in the humidor i have mine usually set around 70 degrees and it holds that temperature with no problem whatsoever i have not seen it fluctuate mm -hmm. i've had a couple of power outages here at the house it goes right back just as fine once you set it to where it was no problem whatsoever. Now, Brother Stogie. Yes. I'm gonna hit you with another one. Hit me. What are the dimensions of this particular humidor? Shit, I don't know. Man. <laughs> it's, it's book back up. It's Brother Stogie. Yeah. Let's get back to the dimensions. What are the dimensions of this particular unit? So the dimensions of this bad boy is 10 inch by 17.8 inch by 20 inch. 23 inches in length. 0.8 cubic feet. 0.8 cubic feet, all right. Now, let's yeah. say somebody's like, hey, I wanna get me one of these Audus, which I highly recommend. Okay. Because I, I use it, I use my Audu, and this is a fantastic humidor. How much are one of these humidors gonna set you back? Actually, on the Audu website right now, is retailing at $195.49. $195.49? Regular price is $229.99. So right now, it is 15% off on the website. 
Yep, I think that is a great deal, especially if you are just now kind of dipping your toe into that thermoelectric humidor space. Maybe this is like something where you, you don't need a 250 count, you don't need a 350 count. Maybe you just need something, you know, that's gonna regulate the air in your humidor. You want something that looks nice yes. in the house. Yeah. And this is a great starter introductory humidor for just that thing. Yes. So we will have all the details, the website right there down below in the description for you, just in case you missed it. Absolutely. Right? Nice, it's a nice unit, man. It's a very nice unit. It is. So, thank you for sticking around for our product review of the All Do 150 Count Thermo Electric Humidor. That's right. If you are new to our channel, Did you say 150 count? 150 count. 150 count. 100. 100. 100. H U N N I D. 100. 150. F I T T Y. 150 count Thermo Electric Humidor. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> With the now reflective door. That's right. And the digital numbers on the top. That's right. Boop, boop, boop. And light inside. Boom. But not ours. <laughs> if you're new to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, we try to make sure we give all the scar folks everything they need. Humidors, tips, tricks, how to's, what to do, what not to do. Yep. Okay, so if you enjoy that, stick around. Watch the channel. Go back. Watch other channels. Watch the cigar, cigar humidor video. Watch the other cigar reviews we've done. Did you just hit yourself in the I face? Too much, <laughs> too much swinging. Yeah, just a swinging. <laughs> <laughs> not, not swinging. Too much swinging. Shit. Watch the other videos, man. So, we appreciate you. We appreciate everybody. Hey, if you're watching the premiere, hey, talk to everybody down below. That's right. Introduce yourself, okay? We appreciate you. We appreciate the fam. Uh, do us a favor. If you watch this video, before you leave um, the Titan House, the Titan Lounge, yep. like the video. Yep. Okay, just like it. All right. Comment below if you already have this unit. If you have a thermal electric humidor, but it's not the all do one, let us know which one is down there below. Do you like this one? Why or why not? That's right. Okay, let us know. Hit the bell. Just get new notifications every time Cigar Titan posts a new video for y'all. Until next time. Yep. Live how you smoke. Smoke how you live. And that's cool, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week.